Target 12 has learned a Providence scrap metal yard owes tens of thousands of dollars in back taxes to the city. Providence ordered Rhode Island recycled metals to halt all operations earlier this month. Target 12 investigator Alexandra Leslie joins me now and Alex remind us the city issued the business a cease and desist order because of a licensing issue. Yeah, that's right. So according to the city, the scrapyard didn't have a proper license and didn't apply for one mm. either. I spoke to Mayor Smiley about this last week, who mentioned that Rhode Island Recycled Metals had appealed their property tax bill. So we followed up and found out the company owes a little more than $158,000 in back taxes. A city spokesperson tells us those date back to 2016, and the city is asking a judge to toss out the appeal, which would require the business to pay up. Separately, the city says it has not received an appeal to the cease and desist. We've been trying to reach the business owner, but have been unsuccessful. And Alex, I want to shift gears while we have you here to another Providence business. A new report found that Providence likely overpaid a towing company, State Towing, and this all comes after years of scrutiny. Yeah, so the findings came after two separate audits that found that the city overpaid tens of thousands of dollars, Kim. The city auditor and an outside consulting firm looked back at contracts from 2019 through 2022 and found that the city overpaid by nearly $89,000. What most of this came down to was the lack of an agreement on fees for certain size vehicle tows made it difficult to show that the city paid a fair cost. The consultant said they found evidence of mismanagement on the city's end, but did not find evidence of fraud. And Alex, the city told you they were still reviewing the report. So what did the business's lawyers say? So attorney Michael Kelly sent me a lengthy statement last night. He agreed with the consultant that there was evidence of mismanagement at City Hall. He disputes that certain sized toes were directed by city officials and says that the company charged reasonable and fair prices, which were approved by city officials. So as for what happens next, consultants, they made a series of recommendations in that report as for how the city should deal with towing contracts. And it is on the city council agenda for tonight's meeting at six. And we have no doubt you will be following up on that. All right, our Alexandra Leslie, Target 12 investigator. Thanks so much for being here. We'll have much more coming up after the break. Thanks for having me.